So sweet, because there are so many Spock fans out there, Ken Wingard is here today to help us spread the eponymous Vulcan salute, or was it a Vulcan greeting? So, salute, or greeting. usually salute is the way it's and there's the, referred the to. Not just fans out there, there's fans in, in here, here, right? You're yeah, a big yeah, fan well. of yes. Tori is. I had to. My big brother made me watch it. I've been, I loved it. Yeah. So we are going to make Spock bookends for Live Long and Prosper. Ken Wingard is going to show us how to do that, but I'd just like to say, Ken's looks more like live long and do moderately well. I, I've never, I've always had an issue, even though like, you know, as a little kid, it's like, Ken, you can't do it, right? And like, I'm trying it. Live long and, and do, eh. Do all right. Do all right. All right. So how do we do this, Ken? Yeah, it, this is a, a fun project. It's, you can use um, material that you can get at the craft store or wherever. But, and, you know, of course, um, in honor of you, we did the, the Vulcan greeting. But you can really do anything. We did peace sign, we did the Credible Hulk. Fun project to do with the kids. It's all very safe. Um, we got started earlier today. Hmm. So what you want to use is alginate, and you're going to mix it in. Oh, I like the music. Where do you and, get um, alginate? Yeah. Alginate. You can get it at craft stores. You can order it online. I'll talk about that in a second. You're going to mix it about four parts to to, to three parts with just plain old water, and mix and mix and mix. You basically want to get like slime slash pancake batter. Get your hand. Well, it worked. See, my pinky was, it okay, was okay when it there. went in. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hold it in there. It feels really cool. And just hang out until it solidifies, um, which is about five minutes. And then pull the hand out, and you actually have made your mold. You can mold anything. Super fun. And then for the actual plaster, just plain old plaster Paris. Again, water, you mix the powder, um, get again pancake batter consistency. And then you're just gonna pour that in, um, pour it in slowly. You do wanna tap the sides a little bit to get up air bubbles, which I didn't show there. Um, mm -hmm. And then just let that sit for about half an hour or so. That's it? Yep, that, that's it. Um, while, while that's sitting up, you have a question, Mark? No, I was just thinking this would be a great Halloween thing yeah. to stick like in your front yard as a hand. Oh, well, Dave, oh, Dave went right. crazy with this. I was yeah. more of the peace, love, and brotherhood. Yeah, okay. Dave wanted to go full on scary, of course, because Halloween's getting close. Yeah. And yeah, that's excited. his favorite holiday. He loves that year, or that season. <laughs> so while that's drawing, you can make, make your actual bookend, because this plaster is not very heavy, so you actually need a bookend. See, it's actually yeah. pretty light. Oh, yeah. um, and so you're just going to get two pieces of wood, you know, one by three we had, glue it together, a little bit of wood glue. We did the Star Trek insignia so for our cool. bookends. Yeah. A little mm -hmm. glue there. Very simple. Um, and w after you've done that, your hand will probably be done. So we went back and you can take it out of the mold, which is kind of a stressful process. Um, I should have actually taken this out of the container before, the, um, before I poured in the plaster, but I forgot. So you can take it out afterwards. And then what you're going to want to do is just slice away with it. It's sort of like that game with the cake and you're trying to find the ring for good luck at Christmas. It feels so weird. Like I know, it doesn't yeah. feel like hard cottage cheese. to touch it at first. So just keep you know, chipping away and soon you'll see a finger, you'll see a thumb, um, and then you just sort of peel away and there oh, surprise. you go. Look at that. Yeah. Total, and then I was like, what happened to my little finger? It was fine going in. <laughs> um, I love it. And there though. you have it. Peel back Super. <laughs> <laughs> Are you high fiving? Yeah, I'm high fiving that myself. You know, funny. you know. Um, super uh, fun. Um, and then you know, all you do is then you know, get your piece, a little bit of glue, like paint that. it whatever color enough, you want. Though? That is I mean, really neat. Well, it is because it's really about the leverage. You know, oh, once you right, got the, the books are just not right. Yeah. Exactly. It doesn't have to be. Super How are you going to keep it from sliding? Well, that's what the felt is for. Just a little bit of. Felt on the bottom will protect Spons. your oh. your very expensive wood bookshelves. <laughs> You're like Spock. You know <laughs> in the DI, I'm not the Spock in the DIY world. You're like a human computer. You are. Oh, I like that. <laughs> are we so how here? much would this cost? Beam up. Oh no, not yet. Um, it's not it's not cheap to do the whole thing. You're talking about forty bucks wood plaster. And you asked where you can get it. You can get these kits in any craft store, but you can also buy it online. The alginate and it'll just buy a couple pounds. It'll come mm -hmm. in a bag. Cost you about twenty bucks. It's super fun. Feel that. Oh, come your kids do it. Come, come on, right? Come on, it's fun. Like, yeah. Go crazy oh, for this. Oh my gosh. Wow. You need to do um, your daughter's hand. I, I, I already did. did. I already did it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's for you. Oh, that I know, I know. You're, you're probably lacking in Spock memorabilia. Oh, so, I've always uh, wanted one. Thank you.